So you wanna lose weight, but you wanna to continue to drink wine? Well, guess what? Today I'm gonna to give you three practical tips on how you can still drink your wine and still lose weight. Now before I go on guys, make sure to get the video a like, hit the subscribe button, and honestly if you can, share this onto your social media feed. So number one you have to understand is that I personally am not the clean eating coach. So if you wanna drink wine, go ahead, drink wine. As long as you hit your calories, as long as you hit your macros, and as long as you're hitting your fiber total, body fat wise, honestly, you should be okay. If you had one glass of wine and that's all you ate, I guarantee you that you would still lose weight, okay? You can go ahead and try that. No, I'm just kidding. So you can still lose weight and you could drink your wine as long as you're hitting your macros, calories, and your fiber. Number two is that we understand that alcohol provides more calories than a regular carb. So there's actually seven calories per gram of carb or per gram of wine than there is four calories per gram of carb. So for those that are drinking wine, thinking that one glass a day is making them healthy without a proper diet and working out, well, guess what? You're wrong because you're consuming calories that are way too high for you and your body actually doesn't metabolize the calories from alcohol like it does a regular carbohydrate, fat, or protein. It actually skips the digestion process and it goes right into your bloodstream because your body wants to get rid of it. Now, if you're consuming more calories than you would normally be taking in a day, because usually when you're drinking wine, you're hitting up the charcuterie board, you had dinner with the girls, et cetera, et cetera, and the calories that you burnt for the day are definitely less than the calories that you're consuming. And so if these alcohol calories are in abundance above of what you actually burn, guess what happens? They get stored almost instantaneously into fat. And you may not notice it right away, but in two to three years or even four years, I always get this one. RJ, how do I get rid of this? How do I get rid of this little pooch? Well, guess what that pooch is? That pooch is probably from the booze. But guess what? There's good news. And the good news is, according to the Canadian Alcohol and Drug Use, they did a monitoring survey, the average Canadian actually only consumes about six ounces per week, which is only an extra 150 to 200 calories per week. But if you're looking at eating this much over the car course of a year, an extra 200 calories per week, if you aren't burning them off, will equal to three to four pounds of fat, primarily that deep, ugly fat that sits below the stomach and it makes you get that protruding stomach and that's gonna continue to gain. So what's the response to that? Those extra 150 to 200 calories? Well, you do an extra fit club or a hit, hit workout a week, okay? So if you're normally doing five and you're gonna continue to have your one glass of wine per week, then you might have to do six workouts a week. You have access to the virtuals, you can do a double if there's space available, but you might have to step it up and increase the amount of active calories that you're burning. And when you're monitoring your calories, you're gonna to have to make sure that you're burning off what you're earning in that glass of wine. So there we have it guys. We understand that number one, we have to stay within our caloric and macro balance. Number two is that alcohol is actually higher in calories than a regular carb. Number three is that alcohol, if it's not burnt off, is one of the only ones that can almost instantaneously get stored as fat. So the solution to that is you can do an extra workout. We'll see you on the next video.